So I want to go through what I think are the three most common mistakes that people make when they start doing active learning that tends to make it go off, go off the rails. All right? Mistake number one, always calling for volunteers. All right? What's wrong with that? It seems like a nice, humane thing. People hate being called on. You're not paying $60,000 to come and be embarrassed in my class. So what's wrong with always calling for volunteers? Yeah, I get Julie, my pre-med, who answers every question, all right? So when I ask the Fugacity question, and if, you know, when, when the students figure out that I'm always going to call for volunteers and I turn you loose for two minutes, you can talk about basketball because they know I'm not going to call on them and they know that Julie's going to answer every question that I ask. So what could I do instead? All right, say, so in 90 seconds, I'm going to call on somebody. Turn to a neighbor and see if you can come up with the answer to that question, all right? For the next 90 seconds in my class, everybody is thinking about that question because they don't know who I'm going to call on. No harder to do for me as the instructor, but much more effective and much less intimidating, okay? Second mistake I think faculty make with active learning is you, you pose a question or put up a problem and you wait for everybody to finish the problem, all right? Well, some people are fast and some people are slow. So some people finish the problem in two minutes and some people take 20 minutes, but I, and I, I take 20 minutes of class time. I don't need to wait for the end of an activity. I can ask students to do a problem and turn them loose for two minutes and some of them will finish and some of them will not. It doesn't matter. The point of the problem is not coming up with the answer. The point of the problem is to get them engaged with the ideas that you're trying to get them to engage with and to figure out where they're stuck and what questions they have. And that way you really will get through the material, the, the activities fast you won't waste anybody's time and you'll get, you'll get through your syllabus. Last mistake that people make. A lot of times when you do activities, they come across as cute, especially in a room of engineers. We don't do cute. People resent being put together in teams to talk about something that don't require teams and that doesn't require three minutes to process. So when you turn people loose to do an activity in your class, give them something interesting and challenging to do. Ask them to analyze a complex system, to solve an open-ended problem, to, you know, to, to explain a very difficult concept, to do something creative. I mean, give them something that really has some meat to it, that's worth discussing in a group of three or four people for one, two, or three minutes. You'll get a whole lot less resistance because the activity actually makes sense.